What's up, everybody? It's Eon Cure with Day 30 of the Fallout 4 Countdown Retrospective. To celebrate the fact that there is only a month left until the release of this highly anticipated title, I'll be counting down towards the release of Fallout 4 with a new video every day. In each video, I'll talk about one aspect of the game's development history, and throughout the 30 days, I'll essentially be walking you down memory lane, recounting Fallout 4's earliest rumors all the way to its latest trailers and information until the eventual day zero of the countdown. Today, I would like to begin the series by sharing with you the earliest hint of Fallout 4's existence, which can be traced all the way back to October 23rd, 2008, only a few days prior to Fallout 3's October 28th, 2008 release date. On October 23rd, website Reuters released an article in which various developers discussed the concept of sequels for video games. One of those developers was Todd Howard, and here's what he had to say about the Fallout series. I think it's good for people to miss things. Ten years between Fallout is a bit too long, but I think there's this nostalgia factor. In other words, Todd Howard essentially confirmed that we wouldn't have to wait a decade for Fallout 4. In fact, he even went as far as to say that he believes three years is a good time frame between games. So just like that, even before Fallout 3 came out, people were already discussing prospects for the sequel, Fallout 4, being released in the year 2011. Pete Hines, VP of Marketing and PR at Bethesda, got wind of these new rumors and had the following to say the next day in an email to media outlet Edge Online in response. An accurate headline would probably be Fallout 4 before 2018, since that's what he really said, 10 years is too long. So basically, he was saying that just because Todd Howard believes three years is a good time frame between games doesn't mean that the Fallout series will abide by that, with the only real confirmation being that Fallout 4 won't take a decade to make. And just like that, Bethesda provided their first official confirmation that Fallout 4 was indeed coming and that it would be released before 2018, both promises which they kept. And with that, I would like to end Day 30 of the Fallout 4 Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what your train of thought was when Todd Howard and Pete Hines had both spoken out about Fallout 3's sequel, even before Fallout 3 had released. And to be further updated on Fallout 4, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.